It's here, man. You don't have to wait. And if you have been waiting, glad you came here. I'm glad you stopped by because we got Elite Series 72 right here, right now. And the only one that we still have yet to see, he's here now. The Dream. The Velveteen Dream. And also... All these elites, they are all tying in with the previous basics and battle packs, how they're all receiving brand new packaging. It's very similar, but at the same time, different enough to where it's really standing out. And yes, he is coming with the North American title. So if you missed out on that Adam Cole in the previous elite wave, you'll be able to capitalize right here with Dream. I like the bright blue accent. I like that. And there are some changes too in the sculpt of it all. Obviously, since he is wearing the top, you can't go, you can't get away with that Triple H mold anymore. And I hope that, it, you know, for the next stream that we do get, they kind of go either to like a Kofi Kingston or just something different. The bandana, it is going to be removable. The scan, it's almost looking identical to his previous Elite. And just the figure in general, man, it's a great figure. Like this wave, you guys, wait until I get further in. You'll see what I mean about how Elite Series 72, it's like side-to-side -side battle right now with Elite Series 69 because that's still standing out as one of my favorite waves. We got Rey Mysterio right here. And yes, we are finally getting Ray Ray with that Mohawk look look that I've been begging and asking to Mattel just to say, you know what, Hero Flakes, we heard you. We're putting it out right now. Go get it. Get your hands on it. <laughs> and the shirt. Look at the shirt on this. It's going to be kind of uh, almost the same. Again, any like current Rey Mysterio, they've kind of been producing the same style of shirt that we saw right here with. But Tasta, where's those damn pliers, man? I'm looking at the accessories. I see a hat. I see glasses. But I don't see the pliers, you guys. I'm sad, dude. Like, we've got new accessories introduced here in 2019. Why couldn't we have gotten the pliers? Oh, I get it, man. Right. We're still transitioning. Don't worry. We'll eventually get back into those Attitude Era days. And you'll see what Batista did back then. But it's not based off that. This is based off right here. His return. His match against Triple H. And if you didn't see that, you'll understand what I'm talking about when it comes to those pliers. We got Strong right here. We got Roderick Strong. We no longer have to sit here, twiddle our thumbs, and be like, hmm, is this exclusive finally going to hit our stores? You don't got to worry, dude. Ringside Collectibles, they got them up there on the website. Discount code HERO. They'll save you some money right here on the Undisputed Era Steel Chair shirt. Let's take off the chair. Let's Actually, you can't take off a chair here, Hairfix. That's an accessory. You pull that to the side. Let's take off the shirt and see what's going on right here with the Daniel Bryan style of torso. Here's the back side of it. Now, I want to ask you, is this going to be like one of those things where they kind of get you it's like all right we're gonna get the undisputed era attire with it so if you guys want the next ones that's a great way i guess if you're bringing bobby fish into an elite two pack oh now there's an idea future idea right there 2020 i can already see that happening to we'll put it right here with the same matching attire as roderick strong becky lynch we got the man we got some things that are standing out that they should i wish they would have changed man like one thing that would have been really cool like i love the jacket i'm really happy that we're getting a cloth jacket with the man rightfully so it wouldn't feel complete like becky lynch she'd be missing a little something if she didn't come with the jacket but what i'm talking about though like this is just nitpicking it you guys don't listen to me i'm crazy hero fix he's always wrong is these like tights so if you look at the uh like by the waist area how you're seeing like the gold accent piece right there with the buckles that would have been cool had they like done like a sculpt out like it would have been awesome similar to what they did with like the bray wyatt again it's just asking a little bit too much i get it you know there's a whole budget involved but nonetheless great look at becky lynch but now let's get here into buddy murphy the other one that we've only been teased, nothing painted, nothing finished, only drawn, only just clay and kind of wonder and leave you hanging like, how are they going to do the shorts? Well, right here, as you can see, it's not cloth. It's actually plastic continuing right there underneath. It is brand new introduction to the wave because in order to execute these style of shirts we've never gotten them with any other superstar i do like the way that it was captured right here in figure form but the thing that's bothering me you guys not the torso great torso choice i really like how they captured like the bulk and the build right there of buddy murphy but it's the beard man like well, did they run like uh, <laughs> this is an honest question right here like what happened in production like were they coming through down to the final line and they just ran out of red they'll be like yeah, hero fix but we can't uh, we can't complete the beard in red we got to do a black that's all we got right there oh man what's up bro i mean yeah you could repaint it but why 
how do you get a black beard on a red-headed chap? The uh, elbow pads, as you can see right there on the right side, it is... Uh, painted on so like there's some pros and some negatives to a pro obviously you're not losing any articulation con is that you're kind of just not you, there's no elbow pad there so so there are, there are some things about this figure i want to get my hands on this because the head scan it, it's looking there's again a lot of questions left unanswered so go out in the comments i want you guys to tell me how you feel about the beard how do you feel about the set in general like is it up there with elite series 69 is the velveteen dream is that the attire that you were looking for particular again i would love to hear as to how you guys feel about this hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and we'll see you on the next one